was just uh, trying to get clarification from her. Oh, I see. Mm, it's always good to clarify things instead of jumping to <laughs> false conclusions. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to RP a thief, okay? I've never and RP'd a thief. This and... is where it all happened. I oh. remember like it was yesterday. I was standing here. There was so many people around. They were cheering for me. And, uh, and Leo said that the reason why Mercer and Zen aren't here is because they're probably together. I got so angry. But aren't they a couple? Yeah, they are. Then why would you be angry? Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> it's about the RP, Ninja. It's not about the amount of money you have. It's just about the RP of it. A selfish asshole. That's who I am. I see. It's how much RP can I generate from this decision? And that's how I look at it. But yeah, if, uh, if you have any uh, idea for like a nice uh, play or any kind of uh, speech or monologue, this would definitely be the best place to hold it in. You know, to organize things <laughs> and to invite people for like a nice uh. event. It's I actually prefer pretty nice to not be seen. But why? You're so pretty and you're so interesting and fun. And I was uh, wondering if Crass would intriguing. say anything. You should be seen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to be overly uh, uh, I didn't mean to shower you with praises like that I just when I feel nervous I you know like to pay people compliments mm, it's fine uh, why don't you give another speech now something different oh. or oh Chio tell me a story about what I don't know how about I give you three words and you make up a story from those three words I've never tried anything like that before, but sure. Okay, let me think. I will give you... Would you rather me give you a name or a type of person? Anything you want. Okay, uh, let me think a moment. Okay, let me think. So, let's do like a person, place, and thing. A person. Uh, what kind of person? Um, a mad scientist. Let's see. I'm trying. I need a place. What kind of place? A black file and a watermelon. Oh. Very well, come here with me and let's uh, share the story and <laughs> let's tell it together. Oh, I got I'll two. I'll say one sentence and you'll say oh. another one. Oh, I'm not good with storytelling. Well, me neither, but uh, that's how you learn. You Trash know, deep, deep fried fairies. Terribly. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you go first. All right. There once was a mad scientist named, uh, mm, uh, Gary. Oh. Gary really enjoyed things that were green. <laughs> but... Most of all, he enjoyed turning objects into black bile. Black bile or black vial? Oh, bile. <laughs> Gio, you 
just said he likes to turn things in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, with the, the black... Come on, go to you. <laughs> with the black bile, he liked to... Uh... Put it into his beverages. It's <laughs> bile. He knows and what even bile though is, right? His beverages were well renowned and so many people were green with envy, he still preferred to indulge in lovely and juicy watermelons instead. And that concludes our story about uh, Giri, the mad scientist who really liked green things, but who kind of preferred to turn objects into black vile or bile, depending on uh, your perspective and the version that you choose to prefer. And uh, even though and you know, he really liked serving drinks, he Hello. still thought about watermelons and eating them because night, that's his favorite food, Ninja. because watermelons are awesome. And yeah. Oh, I don't think we're very good at this. I think we need I to practice some more. I don't either. I think uh, yeah. if he were to put... Uh, um, I think it would probably spoil the watermelon. Probably. I don't even know what it is, what you said. I don't even know if it's vile or bile. I think it, it's like the juice it, from your liver, right? <laughs> it's... <laughs> yes. Right. And uh, a vial is a little glass object that holds liquid inside. Oh, right. But also when something is vile, it means it's like disgusting, right? Oh, yes, yes. So, adjective uh, and... Let's do another one. Oh, please, no. Yes, let's do another. Um, how about a thief? Um, a stolen soul and a black vial. Why does it have to be black vial again? It's uh, one of my favorite things to carry with me. All right, so thief. Stone soul and black vial. Hmm. There once was a thief so good at uh, their profession that uh, after he stole everything there was to steal, all the riches and all the expensive stuff, he realized that he has nothing else to live for. However, that's when he met another person. Her name was uh, Stacy. <laughs> and she Stacey. taught him that some riches can never be possessed. You can only have them by not having them. And she taught him that uh, friendship with her Sorry about that. <laughs> I had a brain fart. <laughs> the thing about this thief and the reason why he uh, is currently discussing why uh, the thing about having his soul being stolen is because he realized that stealing is never the answer and sometimes when you fill your life with worthless uh, trinkets and expensive stuff that you don't really need you kind of lose yourself a part of yourself and when you do it so much when you actually don't have anything else to steal your life becomes empty and you kind of lose your soul. But then you will of course realize that 
you can only become rich if you're friends with as many people as possible. And in a way, they kind of steal your soul because it doesn't just belong to you, it belongs to them too. And that's why you should always carry a black file just in case you meet someone who would be a very skilled alchemist who could use it and then of course they would be very <laughs> happy that you carried it you know and you could really impress them with it and then you can become friends with them and that will even though it will kind of steal your soul from you it will also you know share it with others and that's why it kind of you know fills it in and then you don't need to steal anymore and that is why i think the friendship is the most greatest things in the world that was the worst story i have ever said <laughs> please don't make me do this anymore i feel so awkward uh, geo that was that was uh, good no it wasn't it was terrible i'm i'm not good at this why am i even here why did you make me do this this place gives me nightmares i dream about this place every day you just told me two stories and you forgot about what happened. I guess you're right. At least for that moment when I felt so awkward and embarrassed. I Why would you forgot how awkward and embarrassed I felt during that moment. You're embarrassed in front of me. Not just in front of you, in front of everyone. You just said you were awkward and embarrassed. And it made you forget about being awkward and embarrassed prior. Yeah, you were kind of fighting fire with fire. <clears throat> I don't see why you would be embarrassed in front of me. You're a person, and you're my friend. And when I do something stupid in front of my friends, I kind of want to die and fall off a cliff and never come back. You know the feeling? Do some. I squirted lemon juice up my nose. That was awkward and could have been embarrassing, but I really wasn't embarrassed. No, it wasn't. It was just an accident and it was our fault because we never gave you a proper warning. Mm. Perhaps, but there's no reason to be embarrassed. Accidents happen. Emotions sometimes take over and that's okay. Yeah, I guess. But, uh, yeah, thank you for being so understanding. But let's not play this game ever again. We are terrible at this. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> you, you know, you... I really like this game, Geo. No. It's not really a <laughs> game, it's torture. just a story. I love stories. I love stories too, but good ones, you know, from people who are imaginative and who make them sound nice and who use proper words and who are original not people who just so it was no oh, should we try it again? no, please you did so well I didn't why don't you try? show me how it's done I don't know how it's done, I just made it up Try it again. Uh, let's do a line by line then. You pick three words this time. All right. Um. Hmm. Necklace? Elbows? And fingertips. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. And black wild. <laughs> That's four. Well, we can, uh, you know, raise okay. difficulty. Uh, alright. There was once an elf who loved trinkets. 
Whoa. Tell me more about her. No, it's your turn. Alright. She loved trinkets, but uh, her elbows were so big that uh, she could never fit uh, a proper bracelet <laughs> on them. And she was very sad about it. That was more than one sentence. Right, I'm sorry. I got carried away. So, there was an elf who once loved trinkets, and her elbows were too large to... Fit any kind of bracelet. <laughs> well, I mean, bracelets typically don't go that high anyway, so... Um, but the, the, she yeah, okay. was a worker for a very, we'll say, prestigious family. And that family specialized in crafting the best uh, black files on the market. And the lady she worked for had beautiful necklaces. Neat. And they were so flexible that she could fit them, <laughs> you know, even over her massive elbows. Even though it's kind of weird to put on a necklace by you know, trying to... <laughs> you don't generally put on a necklace by going through that and, you know, with your hand. It's kind of... A, I guess it could be done so if you're like a contortionist. She tried to... Well, one day she saw a black necklace on the lady's dresser and stole it. And then she married a lovely prince and everyone was happy and uh, no, that's no, the end of the story. Do better. I have a question. Why are we always talking about thieves and stealing things? <laughs> Why not? They make interesting stories. Yeah, but it's kind of a weird coincidence that we always end up talking about thieves. You said necklace, elbows, and hands. Or fi fingertip? Finger? What did you say? What's the third word? Fingernails? Fingertips? Yeah. Fingertips. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I just look at you and, you know, pick some of the features. Oh, I see. Oh, well. Perhaps uh, I needed help putting a necklace on because my elbows were too big and my fingertips were too large. Too worn out from, you know, rubbing your elbows. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. This is even worse than <laughs> when we started. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Why are we torturing ourselves like that? I'm not being tortured. I think it's rather entertaining. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of this exercise was, but. <laughs> it was just for fun. No exercise. It I'm was... so glad that there was no one to witness this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no eyes. You were no scared eyes, of the stage, and so. Now you have different memories and just that public apology that went bad. Yes, now thank you. You, you scar really bad scarred stories. my soul even more. <laughs> now I really never want to come here ever again. Thank you so much. Uh huh. I'm glad. I'm glad. I Wait, that's not what you say to friends. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This book. This Greta book. Oh yeah, let's go. I'll show you where to find it. <laughs> <Poor John. laughs> He'll be fine. 